Hi guys, so I'm today we are going to take a look at like CyanogenMod Mode 12.1 on Galaxy Grand Pi. It uh, sounds a bit awkward, but yes, this is the reality. We have it finally. Let me just decrease the brightness. As you can see, all the glo glory of the stock Android. Let me just focus. Okay. And as you can see, it's very very smooth. No lags at all. Messaging, browser, camera not working. No, themes yes, themes is also working. But currently, like I don't have my internet connection going on, so I have not installed the G apps. So I basically can't show you my installing it, and also don't have Play Store because no G apps, of course. Clock clock wow okay there it is as you can see working very fine and quite looks actually nice like the corners of this phone blends in with the ui at least for me downloads as you can see this is very smooth let's hop into settings i have not set it up i just made a video about installing this and also the hotspot is not working only the Wi-Fi as you can see emergency thing sim cards sim 1 and 2 not working sound not ok sound is fixed like in build 70 it was not working but build 81 it works kind of lock screen oh the lock screen is working I didn't check ok this is also been fixed Great job developer. Sorry I just forgot your name. Lock screen over there. Let's just take a hop into display. And let's see if we can find any more options. Adaptive brightness. Well. We don't have adaptive brightness. Wait a minute. What is calculating? We don't have auto brightness sensor. In our grand prime. I don't know what the hell is calibrating right now. Like it is optimizing on the daytime live display. No. Display adjustment off should be good. Color calibration bit warmer to my eyes, of course. Bacon plug. Okay. Oh, LCD DPI. 240 should be good. Actually, we have 263 on this device, I guess. Not really. Search bar. Expand desktop. Okay. Last thing, we just check buttons. And never should be like enabled from the build prop, I guess. Reoriented the buttons. No. In core power backlight. We don't get backlight. Then the battery. Let's put it on performance. Buttons, cashews, cashews. Ambient display. Proximity wake. Proximity wake. Let's just check it out. Wow, it works. Like legit, it works. Let me show you right here. Wow, this is so cool. Thank God we have it. <laughs> It's so convenient like my Galaxy S4. And it just detects like charm. Like I'm doing it very fast right now. Wow. I'm totally impressed right now. Ambient display again. Sorry if the brightness is too punchy. then comes the users again working system profiles status bar status bar mpm cell normal soccer battery portrait i like that next to the icon brightness control no not that interested notification drawer show weather that should be good advanced location setting brightness sensor high sensitivity as well and first 
like it's fully packed right now let's just uh, enable the developer options we have enabled it as you can see developer option advanced reboot my favorite one also the root you need to access the root from here of course like this sun engine recovery no needed i personally don't recommend or i like that one android 5.1.1 Working like a smooth charm. Oops. Like the time we had, like we were scratching our heads whether it will get lollipop or not. But now we are running 5.1.1, which is a great thing. Thanks to the all developers and their work. As you can see, Sun is in mod 12.1 running in its all glory contributors i like this part contributors let me just show you they are like basically the names of all the developers working on the signage mode team as you can see many of the indians over there let's just hop back from the settings and check out other apps look at how smooth it is awesome Like every uh, grandparent user uh, should personally check this uh, ROM out like it's just totally awesome especially when the audio and the camera gets fixed like this is totally freaking awesome music the level app favorite one the audio is not working I don't know why the audio files don't work but the like ringtones work as you can see sound on full but still not working i don't know why but again very smooth battery is also kind of good it just dropped from 24 to 22 22 which is also good context Quite a lot of wallpapers over here. Let's just skip this one. It looks good. Actually, it's very cute ROM. So, guys, this was my review for Sign Engine Mod 12.1 running flawlessly on this grandparent 530H. And let me just remind you, like, uh, this only works on 530H uh, and, uh, like, build 76 and above, it will work on uh, XSU, XU, like, I have a XXU and it's now working flawlessly. Like, build 75 was not working on my device, like, it was only working on XCU, which was kind of sad, but finally I got it working. So, guys, thanks for watching. Also, subscribe to my channel for more videos and peace.